Are you going to tell your story? I might. Okay. I was being so organized and then I lost all my notes. Oh, there they are. Welcome. Hi, April. How are you? Diane, welcome. Good evening, Polly. <laughs> Hi, Carol. <laughs> Susan, how are you? Welcome, Beverly. everyone. Hi. Hi, Kathy. Ruth and Olathe, welcome. Welcome. Hi, Louise. Hi, Janice. Cindy, welcome. Tom, how are you, sir? Got yourself a new little emoji there with the with the dog. It's very cool. Hi, Debbie. Hi, John, Jen. Debbie Bartlett, Cheryl, Rachel, how are you? Carol. Sherry, welcome to the movies. Hi, <laughs> Corinne. See, <you> <laughs> See you at the movies. That's right, yeah. She's doing the old Cisco and Ebert. Now I get it. Hi, Kathy. And then one of the things that, like, isn't that like an old slang? Like, see you in the pictures, see you in the movies? It could be. Uh, yeah, probably. Probably, probably. We got a fun little show for you tonight. Hi, Susan. Hi, Kitty. Judy. Lots of announcements. Did Joan misplace her glasses? Tom, nothing gets past you, buddy. Well, yes, I, I did. It. I misplaced them so well, I don't ever have to wear them again. Yeah, so tell them what you did. I went and had, um, I don't know what they call the surgery. I had eye surgery. R-E-L? It's lens replacement surgery. R-L-E, maybe. Yeah. So they slurp out your lens with a straw, and then they <laughs> stick a new one in there, and hey, no more glasses. Well, you can see again. <laughs> I don't know if that's how they do it, but. It kind of looked like it. <laughs> so I'm still getting used to it. I can see really well up close where I had to have glasses for it before. It takes 90 days for all of that to heal at least, so. But I can read without glasses, so. Yeah, it's a cool surgery. If you, I mean, if you wear glasses, I would definitely consider it because over the rest of my lifetime, I will save money on glasses by doing the surgery. Yeah. Hi, Patsy. So. Well, Joan, who are we? I'm Joan. That's Robert. Hello. <laughs> um, the stores are Windmill Sewing Center, Quilters HQ, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are windmillsewingcenter.com, quiltershq.com, and qhq, the number two.com. And we do this every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central to 7 ish, sometimes a little later, sometimes a little earlier. Um, yeah, we sell stuff, we teach stuff, we Show make down. stuff. Tonight we're making stuff. So grab a pencil and a piece of paper. Because I'm going to give you a pattern to make with your two and a half inch charm squares. This one is compliments of the Ruby Star Society. The Ruby Star Society. I, what I a great my, name. I think my grandma belonged to that. I think it was just the Ruby Star. Okay. No. Eastern Star. Okay. Eastern Star. That's right. It's like the Masons for ladies, I think. Something like that. Something like that. We do have a request. I digress. So get those sewing machines. I know you're making projects, but the um, USO is asking for 100 Christmas stockings because they are going to stuff them full of snacks and goodies and small items. This is for single so soldiers, single soldiers who stay on base during the holidays to work. So they're the ones that. You know, they're usually, the, the, the way that works is if you're the lowest rank, guess who's not going home for Christmas? So, those people. 
So they are putting together stockings and you can drop them off here. They need them by, I would say, the 14th is the latest of December. And the only requirement that's given here is 12 to 14 inches in length. So. Very cool. Get those sew machines out and make some stockings for the soldiers for the USO. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a good idea. I didn't get anything like that when I was in. There was no... Well, they said get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> and, and much less friendly way. Okay, announcements, classes. Um, wonky Christmas tree table runner quilt. That's a mouthful. Uh, November 20th, which is coming up, right? Real soon. Yep, four days. 10 to 3, that's at Quilters HQ. You'll get to make that. We showed the quilt and the table runner here. Um, holiday giftables made by you. I have samples. I think these are just adorbs. So a, a question on the stockings um, comment just came in. Can they mail them to us? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Send them to us and, and we will get them to the appropriate people. These are um, holiday napkins, but you fold them up, they look like little Christmas trees. Well, that's Isn't cool. That just the cutest thing ever. I like the polka dots. Okay. Well, you could fold it the other way. No, it just makes the, yeah. goes well with the green. Yeah. So um, that's one of the things that you'll learn, holiday napkins. Flat little zipper pouch. These are, you can't not have enough of these. Like, traveling can't not. That's a double negative. So it's in positive, right? So. <laughs> Two negative protons together make a positive. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Now somebody That's said that. It's like, you can't physics. have two negatives make a positive, and then you go, yeah, right. Or two positives can't make a negative. Oh, Patsy said you can make them round, too. Yep, you can make them round too. Um, little passing. zipper pouch. Um, this is not quilted yet, but this is one of the the projects that you'll make. This is a snowflake table runner, and then the ten minute table runner, which we did this on the show once too. That's really cool. I like the fabrics on it. Yeah, it's very cute. It's very retro. Mm -hmm. Let me fold all of this up and get it out of my way. So that was the second class. So the first class is December 4th. That's the soup cozy, the potato bag, the pillowcase, Christmas holiday sock, stocking. Um, oh, look, there's a show and tell in this one. No, maybe that's just for me to show and tell. <laughs> We're going to have fun tonight. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Um... And then December 18th class is a travel neck pillow, fabric basket, snowflake mug rug, and a reading pillow, which the reading pillows are so popular. Um, $30 for each class. That's at Quilters HQ. Um, December Kimberbell group is December 11th at Windmill Sewing Center. That's the gingerbread man tea towel, and that's $25, and that does include the kit. Hey, Brenda from Canada. Welcome. We have an OESD virtual class. Those have always gone over really well. You just sit at home and log on and watch people make beautiful stuff, and then you can go shopping and they give you a discount. So that is November 19th. You do need to go to our website to register for that, and then that will redirect you to the OESD register website. And then the email that you get, you need to save that email because that's the one you're going to use when you start the Zoom class. And next year, come on. We're talking about next year already. Did I say that is last week? Is there wine in the cup? It might. No, it's just straight vodka. I don't know. Carrie was asking. She said it was wine. It's just water. <clears throat> um, yeah, next year. I can't believe it. Christmas is coming. I mean, we got to stop at Thanksgiving, though. I like Thanksgiving. I do, too. Let's Surge One. Again, we're having this one. Great class. A lot of good feedback. Everybody said they were just so confident with their serger and we're making projects and bringing them in for show and tell 
That is starts January 8th. The cost is $120, and that is for eight classes. That's not each class. That's for the eight classes. And then next week is, no, that's actually this Thursday, is Active Quilt Club. And we will be finishing up our holiday quilt. And then in December, we are doing a lecture demo on log cabins with your one and a half inch strip die. Oh, that's Look at any weird looks. No, that's going to be fun. <laughs> hey, Jody, how are you? And then last thing, um, December 14th, we're going to start a new sew along. This is probably not on the website, but we named it Super Sampler. Yeah. And this is the quilt. This is AccuQuilt friendly, so everybody that bought the AccuQuilt to make the last quilt that we did, you will be using that. You will need, I think it's angles for this one. I don't know about corners, but um, we will have kits, enough to do 30 kits. So that will be going up on the website if it's not there already. Um, so you'll sign up. It's a $5 fee to sign up for the kit. That $5 is refundable towards your first week's kits. This is going to go 17 weeks, 16 blocks. The blocks are 16 inches. Those are really popular right now. I'm seeing these really big block quilts mm -hmm. everywhere. And um, we're going to do it in patriotic colors because we should finish this by spring. You'll have it in time. If you get it quilted, you'll have it in time for 4th of July. Yeah. Quilt measures 83 by 83. Hi, Leela. Any questions on this so far? Um, so, I mean, in regards to this, you guys um, said you're ready for your next kind of sew along and a mm -hmm. fun project to do. And so this is what Joan came up with. Um, so here tonight, you guys are first to you be able to go um, and get in line and, and have that option um, after that if we haven't filled the 30 seats then we're mm -hmm. going to send it out an email basically out to all the customers and, and give them the opportunity as well so the pattern is still going to be free yep. if you want to use your own fabric for it we'll have fabric requirements up there so that you can you can dig from your own stash um but yeah i did find hopefully enough to do this in discounted fabric so the the Keep the cost cost down. of the kit yeah. will be really reasonable. And so. Hi, Kayla. It's really fun. I like it. I might rearrange it a little bit. Some of the blocks still kind of working on it, but these are the blocks that we're going to make. And this is, um, if the, the if the Amish sampler was your first quilt with AccuQuilt, this is going to be moving your skill set a little bit higher. It's not a difficult quilt. It's just going to have more interesting box in it and so everybody can participate yep. um we will mail the kits polly again just mm -hmm. like we did before hi donna how are you um you can participate in springfield if you want to sew along um i know amy participated down there and sharon blizzard and so you guys i mean anybody in springfield can participate as well as well as all the internet people who aren't near you so uh, should be fun i think it'll be um, you had one question. Uh, do you know what dies are you're gonna? It's gonna be using. It's well, it's gonna one. use the eight inch cube, okay. and I know that we are going to need angles for this one. So if you only have the cube, you will also need angles in the eight inch cube size. And I'm looking through. That's it. So you will need the basic cube, and the angles and cube. angles is pretty affordable yeah so yeah uh, and and don't forget we have an everyday discount on those yeah. as well the code for that if you need to order it online is qhqacc and just put that in at your checkout and it will apply the discount for you and we can ship that off to you but yeah this is going to be fun there's a there's a quilt like that Lori holt did one so um, some people were asking can they do it without accuquilt as well uh, there will be rotary cutting instructions. Yep. Some of these blocks, the, um, the cool thing about AccuQuilt is some of these shapes are different angles. So 
You just have to be careful on your rotary coding instructions. Right? Yeah, so there will be templates, and you'll have to follow a template for some of the, the rotary cutting. Um, and how much is the kit going to be, do you know? Um, not Ballpark. yet. Not until we get the fabric in and know what the shipping for it's going to be, and then we can... It should be comparable to where we were before, I would think. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit more because we're using prints instead of solids. Solids okay. are normally cheaper than prints. Um, so, but like I said, I did get these at a discount, so it's not going to be, you know, like twenty five dollars a month. I'm thinking it's going to be around ten. I think, or not a month, a week. We're doing these faster than block of the month. We would be here for sixteen months. Yeah, that'd be a while. That would be a while. <laughs> I want to finish things. <laughs> Uh, so stay tuned, more details coming on that, yep. um, but we wanted to share that with you first and um, what Jones come up with. So, yeah. you know, if you want to sign up, I would decide whether you want to sign up. I mean, with the quilt now, so because it will be 30 seats because we only quick. have X amount of fabric. So yeah. if we get a few more, you know, it may work yep. out that way um, and we hope it does. So color of the month is 2350. So... I did grab one. I was prepared this time. No, no Woohoo! And it's even right side up. <laughs> um, color of the month is um, 2350. It's this really cool copper, so it works well with our fall color fabrics right now. 15% um, off, comment make it mine, 2350. We also have a thread club. It's $20 to join the thread club, and then you get 20% off of the thread that you buy to fill it up, and so then yours would be 20% off. Come and make it mine thread club. Need another box? You just get another box. Yeah, the box is $20. Comes with a spool of white, which I'm actually sewing with white tonight because we're sewing with white. So what we're going to make is this little ruby star so one of the questions that we get a lot is what do I do with pre-cuts so this is really cute and Robert really wanted a pillow <laughs> <laughs> so I went through my charm oh, squares Peggy, you're not late so you can rewatch and picked out some colors and so you're using 20 I think there's like 40 um pieces in a it's either 41 or 42 might be might just be 40 um in one of these the same as a layer cake only they're two and a half inch squares and so i already went through and picked out the colors I that i like best and this one is the me and my sister and i can't think of the name of the the collection it's right behind you will you grab Oh. Point? Hmm, right there. This? Like, yep. Yep, that's the jelly roll, but. So, oh, yeah. yeah. The little charm squares. Are there any left? No, oh, why didn't you say pedal power? And I would have pedaled over there. <laughs> because I couldn't remember the name of the collection. It's Pedal Power. <laughs> These are $4.49. Come and make it mine if you want one. Um, but yeah, and I already did. There's instructions on the back of this, and I'll share these with you, um, these directions. I've already done the pre-cutting for this. You need 7 eighths of a yard of background fabric. And so I just found this, this is um, Kimberbell, and it's a white on white. Hopefully I can see the white on white better. And so I've already cut my pieces. And so this is actually quilted. And today I'm using, this is the DX4000. This is a machine from Juki, has a touch screen interface. I don't think I can turn it around, but so that you can see. But, so, all we're going to do is piece our strips, and I've got one and a half by two and a half, and I'm going to string piece these really quick. Make sure my speed's all the way up. 
I have a feeling some of these are going to be backwards. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got my quarter inch foot on. Is that all the way down? And here we go. White on white is kind of diff a little bit difficult for me, but better now that I have this little surgery done. And so you can get two of these pillows out of one pack. So you can have matchies or you could give these as gifts for the holidays. Are you going to tell your story? Sure. <laughs> so I was, I know you're not supposed to run in the house, but I was running in the shop because there's like a big area that you can run and through. And it was like this, boom. And I was like this streak that went by. And then Joan said, when I came back, it's like, what's up? And I was like, I got new shoes and you can run faster in new shoes. And that actually sparked a story. So when I was in like second grade, um, there was a kid that came to school. And I don't know why this is an impression on me, but it's kind of funny. <clears throat> and he came to school and he said, I got new shoes. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he said, did you know you can run way faster with new shoes? And I said, no, I didn't know that. He's like, I'm at least 10 times faster than I was before. <laughs> and I said, that's really cool. He's like, I'll bet I could outrun a bullet right now. I'm that fast. <laughs> I was like, okay. So that sparked I've always, whenever I got new shoes, you know, you got to try them out and see if you can run faster. So. Are you going to show off your new shoes? Well, they're not that. I mean, they're pretty cool. <laughs> They got a lot of color. They do have a lot of color. So, I don't know if that, if you guys ever felt that way when you got new shoes. I love new shoes. If they were tennis shoes, now I, I mean, you can't be running, like, trying to run in high heels or flats or something, maybe. But yeah, the slippers. stilettos are just not going to, uh -uh, bad I mean, idea. Slippers, that, that seems like an accident waiting to happen. Hi, Peggy, how are you? <laughs> we'll go back over um the block of... The, the quilt, the sew along. Yep, we'll for go over that, that again. Jumped on at the end, so. Yep. We'll do that again. And Patsy, you know what I'm talking about then. Her two boys had to show how fast they can run if they get new shoes. So it's just a thing. You know, you get new shoes and you just feel like you can run faster. It's the new tread, it's like getting new tires. So if you can do tires, can you drive faster? I don't, I don't think that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Maybe if you live in Wyoming or something. Montana? Mm -hmm. All right. I got to know who all is watching Yellowstone. Give us a thumbs up if you're watching. I, I got the first season. Did I not have enough of these? Uh, there's some more up there. Is there? Yep. Now I was wondering how I did that. So watch the. <laughs> what? Uh, Kitty said, "I wonder if it works if you buy skinny jeans." <laughs> you might be on something. You're awesome. <laughs> we need more research. <laughs> uh. Uh, yes, the pattern will be on the website. Yep. I will um, scan this and get it up there. Actually, I'll probably scan it and put it on Facebook. <laughs> this one. I can already tell I've got a couple of these upside down, so... It's okay. I'm good with it. 
If I can't tell the difference, there is no difference. So, it's been a long time since I've pieced like this, where you keep all of your pieces, like, strung together. So, we'll see how the ironing goes, because this could be fun. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. But this is a really good method, because you don't, you don't clip, clip your threads at all. And then you just um, leave them all connected. And then you just fold them over and sew them together. You'll see that in a second. This is going together super quick. So if you're looking for a good, quick holiday gift, this is one. And I know I'm not the only one out there with a collection of two and a half inch squares. And these are four by five, so you could really make this any size you wanted. If you wanted a bigger one, you could just do five by five. You might have to modify the instructions a little bit, but super easy. I might just use my multi-function finger presser tool <laughs> instead of ironing. I think that might go a little easier. Slide these over a little bit. <laughs> but this is a really cool machine, so we're we're actually going to do some quilting with it too. So, um, oh, thank you, Beverly. Very nice. We appreciate that. Oops. Oh, I'm pressing for. As always, we do have a giveaway, yep. so make sure that you've commented. That's make all you sure. have to do to get entered to win. That always reminds me of Fruit Stripe Gum every time I look at this fabric. Yeah, you, you always say that. There has to be a Fruit Stripe Gum story. Your it was my favorite. It only had flavor for like, you know, maybe 15 chews, you know, yeah. but <laughs> see, you get the whole pack and you have this big old wad of gum in your mouth. I guess the story is, um, how many times? Hi, Lois, how are you? How many times my mom had to cut gum out of my hair because <laughs> I went to sleep with it in my mouth? That's, that's a girl story. <laughs> Let's see, um, someone just finished uh, the two and a half inch square uh, making ornaments. Oh, cool. so she's going to bring Oops. them in Thursday. So. Cool. I don't have my straight stitch plate on and I stuck that down <laughs> in the... Yeah, smash up the like button if you like fruit stripe gum. Hey, I love fruit stripe gum. No, you've got some already. Some other ladies like fruit stripe gum. It had the little zebra on it, right? Had the zebra, had okay. the multiple stripes. Yeah. It wasn't just a you know little black and white zebra, it had all kinds of colors. Yeah. There we go. Now the machine's moving. Carol said it looks like a space age machine. It is a little bit. You can actually play videos on this. Yep. So, like, fun videos, like watching this, the Make It So Show, or you can watch a video, like, how to make your settings on the machine. Because this has all of those as well. We do have this fabric in yardage, too. It looks like it's going kind of quick. Yeah, it's dwindling a little bit. <laughs> Carrie said, can you watch Yellowstone? <laughs> hmm. Not if while you're sewing. No, they decided it was probably a safety issue to play videos <laughs> while you're sewing. 
you know, because you got all those cowboys on there. They could be distracting. <laughs> Robert's cracking up. Pardon? <laughs> Are you turning into a cowboy now? I can do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to rename the show Yellowstone with Sewing. <laughs> put a log on the fire and turn the pig. I can do that. So only I watched one episode. And so. Okay, so pressing these seams, we need to rotate our um, direction. So on this first row, I'm going to press all of my seams towards the, the, the pattern square. This is better than the iron. I would have burned myself by now. I have no doubt. So you're saying that the multi-finger presser tool is actually a safety tool as well. It seems to be working for me. And then this next row, I'm going to press all of the seams towards the, the white fabric. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to cut these apart because I'm looking at my pattern. There's a, there's a row in between. So, we're going to do it the easy way. And try to keep my rows all together. I almost messed up already, because we're talking about running fast in shoes. <laughs> okay, so this, it doesn't matter which way you press your seams. I'm going to come over here real quick to the iron, because I've already got it hot, and I'm going to press them all in one direction. You could talk about your sale on the... Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to keep these in order. So we do have Make It So shirts left. Pink and blue. So if someone wants one, five bucks. Ooh, that's quite a deal. Just uh, send your size in to uh, Carrie and we'll get one out to you. So, there's quite a few of them, so yep. we'll work on uh, dwindling our stock. Then we need to come up with something else. Yeah, we do. Mugs. I don't know. Coffee cups. Yeah, maybe coffee cups or something. I have this one coffee cup, and I got it from, um, not, in, not making any endorsements here, from Waddell and Reed. Um... And it's a true ceramic cup, and it keeps your coffee really warm the whole time you're using it. Okay. I think that was close to the order that they were in. And so then we're going to come over here, and I should have three. Oh, on the front. There it is. Hey, Amber, how are you? Um, Peggy, you can, um, if you just want to send your size in to, um, Carrie, she can look through and see what all we have left. Cause we have a multitude of sizes from mediums, uh, large, extra large, extra, extra large. So, I mean, we got a whole size of them. So yep. whichever ones, um, appreciate the help. So we're just going to sew this sashing into our squares here. You know what, Joan, and what we should do is we'll just take any proceeds from the shirts mm -hmm. and we'll give them to Toys for Tots or something like that for Christmas this year. So That's great. Anyone who gets a, sh gets a shirt, we'll just donate those dollars. Yeah. It's a pre-moving sale. <laughs> it's a pre-moving sale. It could be. Uh, you know. Okay. Oops, somebody's in trouble. 
Did you hear the sirens? Yeah, sometimes they fly by, so. They do. It is really cool how this pillow goes together after it's all finished. How are we doing on time? We're doing fine. Does anyone have certain charities they like to donate to on the holidays? Give them a shout out. Uh, yeah, Peggy, we're, we actually, we did buy a building. Um, it's not far from here. Um, it's just bigger. And it's ours. So, it's a lot bigger. Um, yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to bring you guys along with the journey of kind of all the, the stuff that we have to go and... through. Um, yep. So it'll be fun. I actually got us locked out of the building the other day and had to call a locksmith. So yeah. there's only one way to get in. Why don't you tell that story? <laughs> yeah. So um, I flipped one of the breakers, which apparently the breaker is attached to the uh, electronic panel that you enter the building with so we both walked out the door and turned around and went to check the door and check the code and no power no power to the keypad lesson number <laughs> and i thought oh okay well we have keys no big deal so we went around to the front to take check the keys and of course we don't keys to the door we have keys to an inside door because they only had one key so yeah yep kyle was really nice came and unlocked the door for us and <laughs> yeah. replaced the lock which we would have had to do anyway yeah patsy so we're, we are we're gonna we're gonna move quilters over there first and get things settled and things like that so it's not that far so yeah but we have a lot of work to do and it's gonna take some time and a lot of things have to go right and timing and um it's very difficult to get materials and things like that so can be so far so good though yeah we're gonna have to make amber a little pod there so when she's there she can just hang out. <laughs> amber can come hang out with us in the pod well it's fourteen thousand square feet so oh, it's big, big. Yeah. this is like maybe five thousand square feet So that means a lot more room for fabric and machines and cabinets and fun yeah. stuff. Better classes, you uh -huh. know, better classrooms and um, yep. where Two. we can do online stuff with you guys, which we really want to do. And um, a lot of you said that you would. Um, wanted to sign up for some of the virtual classes, so we're gonna start doing, you know, some beta stuff with that and see how you guys like them. And we actually um, have our own studio. Yeah, right we there. have a little studio, so that'll be nice. Where it'll have, you know, more high tech equipment for you guys, so you can see better. We'll have the camera that shoots down. Yeah, so I took. I don't know, somebody was on here last week and they wanted the camera that can shoot down and so we can have multiple angles and things, so we're going to be able to set that up, so that'll be fun. Hi, Cecilia, how are you tonight? <laughs> That's right. Kathy said I could check, a lot more room for me to check out my new shoes. So. Yeah. Yep. Got you, Peggy. We'll definitely work on the virtual stuff, so... Um, Sherry, I don't know about the racetrack because, you know, I would want to race around the track in my new shoes. Okay. So then once you have this part, Hi, Leslie. How are you? There are pieces that go on the sides here. And if I did my quarter inch seam right, Hi, I, Donna. I might want to press this a little bit because it's not quite lining up.
sure these seams are open really well. It really is a cute little pillow. Much better. I'm going to sew the sides on and then we're going to sew the tops onto this pillow and then we are going to quilt it with just some straight line quilting. Are you going to stuff it too? Well, I don't really have anything to stuff it with right now. I could. But we are going to sew the back on as well so that all you have to do is stuff it. side as well. Yeah. It's something that we wanted to do from the moment we opened the store. Yeah, a long time ago. But with all things, only when you're ready, right? Yep. Sometimes. Right building, right place, right price. Yeah, no kidding. Right key. <laughs> <laughs> Details. Yeah. Well, you know. So you can see this is a little bit kind of a larger pillow. So this on. So it's a nice sofa size pillow. It's not necessarily a bench pillow, but it's certainly not small either. Uh, it's it's just out in Olathe, so off of 135th. Helps if I get my foot on the pedal. You know, does it say the dimensions on the pattern? Um, I don't believe it did. I looked, but maybe if you read it, you might find them. You know, new eyeballs and everything. So let's see. Twenty and a half by five inches on one side, or the top and the bottom, and eleven and a half by three and a half uh, on the sides. But you could make smaller borders too. These are five inch borders on the pillow. And then I've got a. So hopefully, you can pause and zoom in there. Oh, the colors are good. Yeah. So it's going to be like a fruit stripe pillow. It is. <laughs> okay. Let's just give this a quick press. Oops, I'm yanking my bobbin out here. So one of the things I like about this is that you can do the whole thing on your domestic machine. So this is not so huge that you would struggle to quilt it. So let me show you the product. So right now what I'm going to do, and I actually have a piece of this fabric, but you could use like a muslin or any other kind of fabric. I just didn't have any handy. So, um, so first thing you need to consider when you're doing batting, there is a right and a wrong side to batting and they call it dimples and pimples. And so the reason it matters, so this is the, the, the pimple side goes up towards your project like this. Okay. And the reason that it matters is when you're quilting that, um, the 
those little balls that are on the batting can get pushed through to the back of your project. This doesn't really matter so much on this because it's um, going to be inside of a pillow form. But if you're doing a quilt, like, you know, for a baby quilt or something on your domestic, you want to have those bumps pointing up. That's not it. That's it. And I am just going to trim this just real quick with a quick tear because I don't need quite that much. So this is a product. This is from Quilter Select. This is a free fuse. So this is obviously not fusible batting and I don't really want to use a 505, 501 spray in 505, I think. Yeah, 505. 505 spray. This is a powder. And so, um, let me put this up here. And all you do is just like salt, you're just gonna sprinkle. Am I actually getting any? Yep. Mm -hmm. See it yeah, on the back of my yeah. hand? And so you're just gonna sprinkle this. Doesn't take a lot. And then you're gonna take it over to your hot iron. That's really cool stuff. So I'll lay this out and smooth it out a little bit. Take it over to my hot iron. And I'm going to temporarily fuse this into place. And so you do want to leave your iron set for a second. And I do have this on the maximum heat, which I think for this iron is like 400 degrees. That is hot. Uh, does it, I think it says on there. Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. No steam. Medium. Medium temperature hold for at least four seconds. Yeah. And these are twenty one ninety nine, and you can get refills. Yep. Which are fairly cheap. Yeah, there, there's a refill on the table. Oh, is there? Yep. But this is just a really nice product. Product if you have like a asthma or something, you can't use that five hundred five spray. This is a great product, and I didn't go all the way out to the edges with the the sprinkles. So I just kind of went enough in the middle to kind of fuse it in place because we're just going to be doing some straight line quilting. So, and it's not a big project, so I don't really need to worry that much about, you know, is it going to move? Okay. And we are going to flip this over. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, so um, somebody asked, why would you use the 505 spray? So the 505 spray is kind of like a glue that comes in a spray bottle. I'm just going to iron this real quick. Well, no, it's pretty good. I don't really need to. Refills are 14. Refills are 14. 99. So. And so I'm just really getting the, the middle part because and that's crunchy does not take a lot so we've used that one since we got the product and just making sure that my back here is covered Power carton was crushed in shipping. What can I put in it to use? I'm not sure I understand your question, Kathy. <clears throat> so we're just going to fuse this back side to it. And I'm just going over it real slow, and then it's going to, you know, if any places that I didn't adhere on the front, they're going to fuse as well. I like this product. The 505 is nice, too. We sell that at the windmill store. 
Um, you need to be careful with it. The, the tech guys yeah. always say that a lot of times, I mean, you, you do need to clean your you needle or change it. I mean, because it does gum up. It does I mean, gum up your needle. This does not. Yeah. Right? So this is such a micro amount of product to fuse this in place. Yeah, I mean, you didn't use very much at all. No. So they say you sprinkle it on like salt. So we're all fused here together pretty well. I'm gonna trade out my foot for a straight line foot. And so the way that this is quilted, I'm just gonna eyeball it, but if you wanted to be precise, you could you could use like a friction pen and draw lines or um, but I'm actually going to quilt down the middle of each of these and then um, turn it this way and then we're just going to echo on the outsides. So these are all the feet that come with this machine. Yeah, you get quite an assortment. And so I am looking for back. one like this, only wider. I think this is the one I want. Yeah, Kathy, Carrie can get you fixed up on that tomorrow. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to use this one. It's not an actual quilting foot, but I want it to be wide enough for my um, area here. Or it does come with a um, ruler foot, which I could use that as well. Just the end of ruler. But I'm going to use this one. And if you notice, there's a cutout in the back of this foot. That's because this machine has an upper feed dog. So instead of using a walking foot, you're going to use this foot and then pull that upper feed dog down. And then to engage this, I'm doing this by touch. I think the postman probably did it, Kathy. He's probably, you know, out there fusing some quilts with it before you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure I'm off the edge of both of these. And then I'm going to adjust my stitch length. I'm going to go up to two and a half millimeters. 2.4. Close enough. And then we're just going to lower the presser foot. And then I'm going to make sure I'm not speed demoning through this. And so if you'll notice, I'm letting this machine pull this through to do the quilting. And I'm just kind of keeping my foot centered on this. Am I actually making stitches? I am, but I've got a thread stuck. Oh, thread stuck. There we go. How are we doing on time? We're getting close. We're getting close. Let's see if I can go a little bit faster without making puckers. giveaway tonight is some 60 weight perfect cotton filter select tube so you get one two three four five spools in there which is great for doing what yep. i'm doing right now so it's 60 weight and there's a red pink orange a rust color and a darker maroon so all you have to do is comment, um, and we will draw a name and get this out to some lucky winner. Yeah. Who doesn't love thread? Free thread? Free thread.
Oops, I think I broke with red. Let me go a little longer tonight. You can always use more thread. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody can use more thread. And that's how easy it is to thread that machine. And I'm just going to back up a little bit, hang on to my top thread here, and then just continue on. Again, I'm actually going to start in one of these center panels, center pieces, and quilt that row. And I think that'll be enough quilting. This is Hobbs batting, and um, so for the Hobbs, you want to have um, about a hand's minimum distance between your quilting for the batting knot to get bunched up underneath. Okay. Cut. We're going to do this one all the way out to the edge. Somebody asked, does the, the powder, um, does it wash out? Um, I don't believe it does, but you don't use enough of it to actually worry about it. It's kind of just to hold your project together to start with, right? Right. So I think over time, if you washed it multiple times, it would. But like for this project, this pillow, you could wash it. And the way it's assembled would make it really easy to wash because the next part that we're going to do is really cool the way this um, goes together. Yeah, we might run over just a little bit tonight, guys. So Yeah, we're almost done. We're close. Try to be conscious of your time as well. So we do appreciate you hanging out with us. And definitely like and share so we can make more videos. Yeah, and uh, Chloe will probably turn this into a video to watch later too. So the winner tonight is Carol Gammon of the Thread. So Carol, congratulations. Congratulations, Carol. Chloe, will you post the winner? If you have not shopped us with us before, please go to our website and register for Make It So so that we have your information to get this to you. Because you don't want to miss out. That's a... So we're just trimming this up based on the size of the top here. And some of you may have already put um, projects together the way this goes together. <laughs> Q 
can you hear my stomach growling? There's a growling? growler in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I don't embarrass easily. It really is. No point. So the way that this, and we won't actually do it unless you say go ahead and do it because I don't want to intrude on your time, is these get folded back. Hold on, let me get the. So we've got two pieces of fabric. Let's do this. And so you're going to sew these to the right sides. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Do you have a pattern? Check uh, underneath. Yes, I'm right. Follow the pattern. Towards the wrong side twice. So, yeah. So you fold these over and you fold this over like this. So we could probably do smaller folds, probably like that. And probably like this. Make sure they're lined up. And then you sew all the way around the outside. And then when this gets turned inside out, let me know if you think I should do this so you can see it. What's the consensus? Sew it, not sew it. Um, I don't have any comments right now. No? No comments? Mm -mm. Okay. This is a little past seven. <clears throat> Just gonna iron this real quick. <laughs> they said go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. Sew it, please. Sew it. Okay. They say sew it. Okay. We're gonna sew it. And so you're just going to use the edge of your foot and sew all the way around. And I'm just kind of making sure this is kind of straight. doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It is a pillow after all. I'm going to go a little bit faster with this machine. How much is this machine? How much is this machine? Mm -hmm. I think it's on special, right? You'll have to look, honey. <laughs> what? Thanks, Kayla. <laughs> Okay, people got scraps, they like the project, that's great. If you like the project, give us a, I don't know, come up with your own emoji if you like the project. I wish there was a sewing no emoji. Doubt. <laughs> Maybe somebody can find a sewing emoji. Amber says she's never seen you sew this slow. I know, it's because I'm sewing with the, with the walking foot. You don't want to outrun the walking foot. Nope, don't want to do that. Got to let him do his work. It is pretty. It's very pretty. This will make a nice gift for someone. That's true. Kitty got a needle, so that's a sewing needle. There we go. Right that's a pretty good emoji. All right, Lois got one. I don't know what's on the YouTube side versus the Facebook side, so it's for Facebook emojis. Okay. Hey, thread, all right. So now we have it all stitched, and then the whole thing. You might want to trim those corners off. 
gets turned and trim thread. It's really long. Oh, you could, yeah, you could make those for bed and just have a, a pair of them, right? Yeah. Need your uh, R and K uh, turning tool there. You do need your R and K turning tool, and there you have it. There's your pillow form, and your back is just open. You can just squeeze your pillow. Pillow. I think this is a standard size pillow that you can buy. I think it's the same size as that um, truck pillow. But if you wanted, you could add more quilting here or all kinds of stuff to make it more personable to you. So yeah, you could add more quilting or whatever you wanted, right? Yeah, and we will share that pattern. Um, do we have time to talk about the pattern again? Yeah, I think for the people real quick, we just want to make sure that people that came on late. So if you're interested in the sew along, this so is going to be the next one. This is going to be the next one. These are 16 inch blocks. This is a real popular trend right now in quilting. We're going to do it in patriotic colors. Um, I did find discounted fabrics so that in their quilt shop quality, their Andover fabrics, or they might be Marcus fabrics, um, to keep the cost low. Um, we will have enough to do 30 kits. So check the website next couple of days. Um, there will be a $5 charge to sign up to get a kit. And that will be applied towards your first kit, for your first week's kit. And we will still send those out to you. The pattern will be free if you want to use your own fabrics to make this quilt. You certainly can. And we will have fabric requirements. We're going to start this December 14th. Yeah, so, I mean, exclusive look. No one's yep. seen this. This um, is one I designed, so this is, this is exclusive. This is for you guys first, um, all the viewers. So we do appreciate you. Yep. and everything that you do for us. Um, so we try to come up with fun things for you guys to do as well. So, yeah, that? that's really cool, yeah. Yeah, I probably uh, need to pull this back out and trim my corners so I can get sharp points on them. Like theirs has these sharp points, and so you just clip off the edge of the corner. Yeah. And remember, anyone who does want to make it so shirt, make sure you say whether you want a pink or a blue one. And what size? And what size? You can send that to um, Carrie. And, and then we, we will give all of that money to Toys a for Tots. A, lo a local charity, yeah, Toys for Tots, yep. probably. So um, any money that you spend on a shirt goes to the charity for this holiday season. So they like gifts, but they like money too. Yeah, they definitely so. do. So it makes some kids happy this year. So. Mm -hmm. Um, the name of the fusing powder is Quilter Select Fuse. Free, Free Fuse. Fuse. And that's $21.99. 21 yep. And the refills are yep. 14 so. And the refill, so you don't throw this away. The refill just comes in a little bag. Did you find it? I had it up here. I did not see it up there, so it's somewhere. You know, you know. then you could wrap it, Joan, in that, you, you know. Mm -hmm comes in a little bag like this. These are $14.99. You'll go a long time with this. It also works with applique if you're doing that. But, I mean, it did a really good job of holding this in place. You know, there is wrapping your Christmas presents with fabric. So if you can get all your Christmas presents wrapped with yep. fabric, that is it. I've forgotten what's in here. <laughs> <laughs> she put something in there. She doesn't know what's in it. <laughs> Cindy will be doing inventory and going, we're missing some stuff here. <laughs> um, Kayla, they should have that in the Springfield store, the fuse powder. Um, yes, if they not, should. I mean, we've waited for a while, but mm -hmm. they should have it there. Um, and we are bringing some more stuff down there. So, as well. Yep. Yeah. The fuse powder is really nice. The fuse pro it's a, just a really cool product. Hi, Diana. How are you? Well, or Diane, sorry. I think that's all for us tonight, unless you have something else. No, you know, um, I think we went a little bit over tonight, guys, so thanks for staying with us. Yep, and, thanks for uh, hanging in there. We hope that you have a great week. Um, we do have a couple of those Juki machines in stock, so yep. if you need a Christmas present, then you need to drop some hints and uh, pick, yeah. have them pick one up for you. <laughs> yeah. So... so. Yep, it's a great machine. I mean, and it plays videos. 
And and maybe we could get it wrapped in fabric. <laughs> it's a big box. You get like five yards or ten yards of fabric with it. So bonus. Yeah. Everyone have a great week. Um, we sure appreciate you joining us. And every Tuesday at six central time is when the show airs. So yep. and you can always go back and rewatch on Facebook or YouTube. And we'll try to turn the demos into videos mm -hmm. so that you can watch them later. Yep. If you want to make one of those, you can sew along. Yeah, it was great. Yep. All right, guys. I think Good that's night. it for us. Have a great week.